All right, so the way the competition works this year, at least, is we have two robots, and they're basically competing in a material handling challenge. The idea is there are 10 uh, targets which are accessible to each robot. The first robot to get seven wins. Um, there's a, some strategy involved because at least half of these targets here are shared. So uh, one robot might actually decide to take uh, first the uh, targets that are most convenient for the other team to get. Robots can't really tell, or at least they haven't written the algorithms to figure out which targets exist and which ones don't. So there's a little bit of strategy involved. Okay, so these things, these are just targets we made out of wood. The reason we've done that is because the sensors on the robot, it's not quite a laser rangefinder, but it's something pretty close to that. It measures the distance to the walls in all directions. Uh, the robots look at the walls in order to localize themselves precisely to figure out where they are. And before we start, they know the locations of the targets. And then finally, the, uh, the same sensor can be used to find the precise location of the target once the robot gets close. But this is actually quite a difficult thing to do, to control the robot to, to get into that position relative to a target. Nito uh, home vacuums that anybody can buy, they're worth a few hundred dollars. And we've changed them to add computers and a wireless interface and these little red forks. Now, just like it would be in a factory, we give the, the robot some idea where everything is. But also, just like it is in a factory, nothing is exactly where it's supposed to be. Messed up by a few centimeters, the orientation isn't correct. We use the lasers to look at the walls is because the measurements of the rotations of the wheels have enough error in them that actually very quickly, with under a minute, the robot will get lost. That's exactly wrong. <laughs> it was one of the most rewarding courses that I've taken in terms of when we finally got it to work, there was something tangible that you could see, that you could feel, that you could touch. So the Neato bots are extremely reliable. I was not expecting that from a vacuum cleaner. But you're given these tools that you're able to achieve better accuracy. So you're no longer working with Legos, you're working with an actual robot that's capable of getting that accuracy. It's perfectly aligned. Bam. Nice. nice. When we start off, we start off with something simple. Go forward 10 centimeters and come back. We all did pretty bad at that at least the first week around. And then we got better. We learned about um, PID control. We learned about motor encoders, trajectory following. So we went from failing at getting our robot to go forward and back to being able to do these major competitions with complex algorithms that you can't even take one part of it out because everything's working together. What really makes this class unique is you get to apply a lot of complicated uh, algorithms to real-time systems that have to not only work, but it has to work all together all at once in real time. We actually had like systematic ways of thinking about these kind of problems, localization, like odometry and path planning and trajectory planning. Those were new, new things to me. And you, you build from really basic understanding of like these are the primitive commands you use to control the robot and then each successive lab has you do something more with the previous lab or add a new component. So each lab basically builds another uh, component onto your entire system until you, at the end you have a, a robot that can navigate around a, a course and identify obstacles. I think one of the most memorable moments of the class was the moment when like, we finally had all of these components and put them together in one lab and the robot actually worked <laughs> and was going around and picking things up. That was a pretty rewarding and satisfying experience. So it was definitely important to us to be a community. You weren't competing against them, you were competing with them. I really love this course. I want everyone to take it. It's a great experience.